How's it going guys? Patrick O'Brien, founder of Learn Sativa, and today we got a special package. Mars Hydro sent us a LED light that they asked for us to test. So we figured what better way than to educate our audience on marijuana lighting, especially LEDs, because there's such a wide variety of uh, information out there, than to educate you guys on lighting and knock out a quality review of this light. Stick around to the end because we're going to hook you up with a free gift. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in a moment. All right, guys. So it's the, uh, this is the big grand finale here. Or I guess this is the intro. Either which way, fuck it. From there, guys, we're about to find out exactly what Mars Hydro sent us. They wanted us to do a quick LED review, so got the trusty razor out. Let's take a look at what we got here, guys. We have no idea. It could be a hundred dollar light, could be a thousand, but we're gonna give you guys our honest review on it. So let's go ahead and get that bad boy open. Mars, 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 what did you send us? They sent us another box. Oh, they got a little swag in here. Check out what that is in a moment. Get rid of that. Hiya! From there. I want to make sure we don't miss anything here. Okay, so we got uh that's just the list of parts and shit like that. From here, let's go ahead and pull this bad boy open. Boom, boom, boom. Now you always want to be careful, I'll be honest, when opening up an LED light or any light for that matter. Just for the simple fact that I don't want to use the razor on any of our diodes or anything in that regard. Maybe accidentally splice a uh cord that'd be a pain in the ass guys i'll be honest uh packaging wise i'd probably throw at least a piece of cardboard over the top because of that very reason you guys have a cord right here on the top and uh if i would have went through there deep enough that cord would be gone so just a heads up not holding any punches on this one guys let's go ahead and get inside this bad boy got the instructions here so what it's saying is based on their spectrum test report and i'll be honest the spectrometer cost around $1,500 and uh, we don't quite have that just yet. So for any companies that want to send us a spectrometer, send it on through, we'll use it. From there guys, Spectrum Test tells us that uh, we're gonna be using, it's pretty heavy on blues here. I'll pull this up on the screen for you guys so you guys can check that out, but we'll leave that right there. What else do we got here? Warranty card, probably awesome in those regards. So we got a little ballast here. This thing's actually pretty, uh, pretty beefy looking from just the back end so far. 24 hour timer. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the digitals. It's just so much easier to use, but I get it guys. Thank you for the timer. Um, let's see what we got here. Quality assurance. Oh, cool. They sent over a, a thermometer. We use the, um, Chris, where's ours at? We use the, uh, toss that over. My man. We tend to use the Accurite. Now you guys could probably, we haven't tested this one yet, but uh, we will. Um, I've heard a couple people say that screens get a little foggy on these. Uh, other than that, is what it is. We'll, we'll give you guys a shot though. We'll try these out, okay? So we got the meter there. Oh, they gave you a nice little set of, uh, well, we got a couple of the, Chris, what do we call those? Pulleys. Pulleys, there we go. We got some pulleys in there. I got the uh, cord here. E, that's a pretty standard cord. It's 12 volt. We got the pH meter for our soil. We love hydro here, but that's okay. And the light itself. Now, there wasn't a message on the box to open up this way, was there? No, because they actually put the wood on the bottom where the glass was, and there is no glass, but I get it. All right, from there, let's see what we got here. Damn, this is actually pretty nice in regards to the, like at first, when I first picked up the box, I'll be honest, I thought this was gonna be a, uh, uh, it's super light. Like I thought this was gonna be a pretty cheap feeling, but this is actually pretty nice. Steel seems pretty good, super light. Uh, the diodes, I don't know who makes the diodes yet. We'll check if these are Samsung and I'm gonna check what uh, wattage these are. I'll add it on the bottom of the screen, things of that nature. But the idea behind this guys is we're going to give this light a test. I'm not even sure, this is the thousand water. So they're claiming a thousand watts on this bad boy. We're gonna put it under the test. We're gonna run a uh, par meter under it. We're going to do some spectrum testing, things of that nature. And uh, we're gonna give this a shot. You guys got anything to add to this? No? All right, let's get this bad boy under the, uh, the par meter and see what we got for measurements. Cool.
All right, guys, it's time to test our Mars 1000 watt LED light. Now, with that being said, we're gonna throw it through the ringer. We have about five tests that we're about to perform on this light. First test being the heat test. Now, you're probably wondering, Pat, why is that important? And to put it simply, during our flower stage of the cannabis plant, we have a lot of oil production towards the later weeks. We really want to ensure that we're not burning off those precious oils. We have a couple uh, lovely tools here. We have a PAR meter, the APOG. We'll talk about that more later. It is designed for our LED. We have the Hydro Farm, which would be designed for uh, standard lights, fluorescence, things of that nature. Not so, not so great for our, uh, for our actual LEDs. I'd use that for HPSs, things of that nature. And then of course we have our spectrometer. This is like a $2,500 uh, tool here that's going to enable us in real time to see the color spectrum of our light. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But for now, we're just gonna use our trusty infrared thermometer. Now you can get this thermometer for about $40 on Amazon and it works pretty simple. As long as you're within 14 inches of whatever it is you're looking to test the temperature of, you are able to accurately get a temperature reading on that surface using the laser that is shot from this gun. I'm going to aim this gun at the top of our canopy. The Mars Hydro recommends 12 inches above canopy for flower, and that's what I'm concerned with. That's the closest point that this light's ever gonna be. So let's go ahead and get a quick reading. Not too bad. Now I got a reading of 78. Keep in mind, guys, we have zero ventilation inside this tent right now, so we are literally putting this thing in its most extreme environment possible. So we'll give them some credit in that regard. 78's not that bad. Uh, just imagine if you incorporate a little ventilation, some moving fans, things of that nature, got some airflow going inside this tent. I could easily see that dropping a couple degrees there. Now, just for shits and giggles, let's do a quick reading on the hood and ballast. Not that I'm quite concerned with, you know, that affecting our plant, but I'm just concerned Actually, not too bad. 75, that doesn't even sound right at that point. I'm gonna do another reading on that. 74. Oh, I saw a jump up there to about a 90, but I'm actually, I'm actually impressed with that. Yeah, it's getting a pretty steady reading of 75. That could have something to do with maybe the uh, reflection in the aluminum, but that wouldn't be the case because we use these for HVAC systems as well. So. I'm actually quite surprised by that reading. So we have about four more tests. Uh, we're also gonna see the cost to run this light daily, weekly, and monthly in a moment. So stick around guys. We're about to take this thing to the next level and see whether or not this is ideal for hobbyists or commercial applications. Who's to tell? We'll find out at the end of this video though. All right, guys, we're back. Now we're gonna finish up our testing. We got about four more tests here. We're gonna do PAR coverage. We're gonna do the spectrum and we're going to do a little bit of the cost that it, it's going to take for this light uh, for the entire grow session of your plant. Let's start with uh, safety first. I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this in the comments below in regards to uh, <laughs> these glasses. But at the end of the day, guys, these lights are very powerful. When we're talking about 1,000 waters, we're talking about, uh, for instance, uh, lights out there with the UV equivalent to that of the sun. You really want to focus on eye protection. Now, you could get these glasses online for about 20 bucks. For those of you that don't want to wear them, well, we'll see how that surgery on your eyes goes in about the next 10 years. Anyways, going from there, uh, let's talk about our PAR meters now. Why is PAR important? To put this simply, we need to know that our light is throwing, our, our LEDs throwing enough light to every inch of our garden. So when we do this PAR testing, there are a number of PAR meters or quantum meters on the market. Uh, Hydroform being very popular at about $120 to $140. And then the APOG that is specifically designed to read LED PAR. Uh, the, Hydro form, not necessary. I mean, this one's great for metal halides, uh, fluorescence, things of that nature, or high pressure sodiums, but it doesn't accurately capture the LED PAR. What we've noticed through our testing is that it's off about by 50. Before we get started, I think it's important that you guys understand what we're looking for on this PAR. We have this set at 18 inches. This is the recommended height. As a matter of fact, 
We have this here for you. You guys could get that. You got it? Good? Yep. All right. 18 inches is Mars recommended height for the light uh, at the veg cycle. Now, typically on veg, we want this part to be between 400 to 600. They state that this is great for like three by three tents, things of that nature. However, we're gonna do some testing and see whether or not that holds true. Now, also something that you wanna pay attention to is bleaching and burning, things of that nature that would happen when you have high levels of PAR mixed in with, for instance, heat and a number of other things. Not so much the PAR actually, it's more of the heat that really does the damage. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this and we will cap this bad boy off. Now, what we're gonna end up doing is we went ahead and cut off the studio lights to give us accurate readings. And we'll just kick this on. And then I'm gonna fast forward through this so you guys don't have to sit around for this. So stick around for a moment, guys, and we'll show you the results for this uh, Mars 1000 watt light at 18 inches above the canopy. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Okay, go ahead and do your full coverage thingy. All right, let it be known. We went ahead and lights are back on, awesome. We went ahead and did our uh, PAR reading on that. So in the center, I'm seeing about 540. Again, we wanna be between 400 to 600. I get into 436 inches out from the canopy, the center of the canopy. 296 at about a foot out. 18 inches, we're dropping down to 150. Anything beyond that, I'll be honest, it's not worth us testing because it's not quite there. So let's go ahead and see where we're at with the recommended flower height of 12 inches. And I'll just go ahead and drop this. Make sure I see it first. Awesome. Claire? Looking good. Good. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and kick off the lights and do this at a 12 inch uh, canopy height and see where we're at in regards to our power using our APOG. Ready to rock and roll, guys? Let's do it. Now, guys, I went ahead and did the 12 inch canopy for the flower cycle and our readings towards the center. I'm at roughly about a thousand, which is substantial for our par on the flower. It's actually above what we needed. We're starting to get into carb dependent plants at that rate. So with that being said, at six inches out, we're at roughly 700 for a significant drop off. At 12 inches from the center of this LED, we roughly hit about 280 which in all honesty, I'm gonna just double check that because that is so, just the drop off there. That's, it's basically where we were at for the, the 18 inch. Yeah, 280. So with that being said, drops off to 97. Anything beyond that, to be honest, we're only basically where we wanna be at, at that six inch mark. Actually, I'll take a 10 inch just to give a quick. Yeah, this thing's really a six by six. Uh, so basically you have that six by six uh, area, surface area, coverage area for our flowering cycle to where it's actually gonna be effective for our plants. It's going to make sure, and while we're out, we have this in the open area here. I just wanna do a quick reading on this. 80, it's 80 degrees right now with zero ventilation, anything like that, but in a wide open space. So just throwing that out there in those regards. Now, from there, let's see what we got. We have our spectrum. So for the spectrum, we're going to talk about the device that we have before we get into this. This is a $2,500 tool, guys. At the end of the day, this is not for hobbyists. This is for individuals that are looking on a commercial level to track data on their grows. So this is the C7000. And what we're gonna do is in real time, see exactly what the spectrum of this LED light is. Now, before we get started, Heavy blues, we're gonna see that more on the veg cycle. That's where I'd like to see those metal halides, things of that nature. That's what that's gonna 
kind of replicate though in, the, in those regards. Our reds, we're gonna to wanna to see more so towards our flowering cycle. That would represent more so like the high pressure sodiums. Now the reds would be more so the flowering stage. That's where I'd like to see those, the high pressure sodiums kind of mimicking those. Now the way this works is we're gonna kick on this system. Again, the C7000, a $2,500 system. Give it a moment to boot here. Now we're gonna go ahead and T, you could zoom in on that, right? We're gonna click this button here, the spectrum. And in real time, we're going to measure by placing this on the canopy, clicking our measure button, lights out, perfect. Click that, measure, and we're gonna pull that out. And just like that, in real time, guys, we see the actual quantum spectrum that this is putting out. So let me go ahead and put this in full mode so you guys could see it like that. You guys got a good image. I'll try to put this up on the screen. I'll be honest, I don't have a CD drive that's recommended for uh, this device. I mean, does anybody really have CD drives on their computers anymore? I don't, I don't think that's a thing. Anyways, guys, uh, I'll, you guys will see that one more time. I'll throw that up there for you. And from there, that would honestly be more so good for veg. It's heavy blues. We got quite a bit of the, let me take my glasses off here. Quite a, it's almost full spectrum-ish, but it's, it's kind of lacking on the reds right now up in the 700 nanometer area. So with that being said, uh, I'd really use this more so towards my veg cycle and then just entering into the flowering cycle, to be honest. I wouldn't use this to go into harvest or anything in that regard, but it is what it is in those regards. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and touch on the cost of this light, how much it costs to run throughout the hours, the days, the weeks of your grow using this light. We'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's review what we've, what we've come across on our test so far and wrap this up. So first and foremost, I, I mean, here at, at Learn Sativa, we're gonna recommend this light for somebody looking to grow one plant. To be honest with you, this is great for a hobbyist, somebody just getting in entry level, especially at the price, $140, you can't beat it. Uh, we wouldn't recommend this for commercial. Unfortunately, we wouldn't recommend this for a four by tent, four by four tent. However, with that being said, Mars tells you that. They're straightforward. They're actually uh, pretty straightforward. And as we've seen on their tests compared to the spectrums in their manuals and things of that nature, they're actually pretty accurate. They're straightforward in regards to what they're, they're pitching there. Now, with that, the sound, that's something we didn't bring up prior to this, but this thing's dead quiet. There's no fans, there's nothing in those regards. So if you're growing in your closets, things of that nature where the states are legal to grow, or you're growing tomatoes, things of that nature, this thing has zero sound. So you're not gonna hear it humming during the middle of the night or anything like that. The heat, it's not bad for having zero ventilation on this light. I find it to be extremely efficient. The draw off the wall at 140 and our cost being, I believe we are at what for the week? I'll put it down at the bottom. I think it was a couple dollars. It wasn't anything substantial. Guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and recommend this for our entry level hobbyists. This is a phenomenal light. With that being said, uh, if you're looking, I know this video went kind of quick and we went through a lot of content. If you're looking to learn more about growing, if you're really looking to understand the insides and outs of this industry, come visit us at Learn Sativa University in Orlando, Florida. We have a 3,400 square foot facility where you get hands-on. We also offer online classes. You can find all this information and more at learnsativa.org or click the link below. And guys, I think that about wraps it up for this review. For any of those other manufacturers, send them on in. We'll give you guys our honest review. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, slash subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, by the way, before we wrap this up, let us know what you guys want to see, uh, your next ideas for videos down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we left a free gift in the comments and description below. We'll see you guys in a moment. Take care.